So this is the JS360. This is a 36 metric ton machine. Those math majors out there, do the math, you know, 2.2, about 78,000 pounds. A tremendous digging platform. One of the finest excavators we've ever made, without a doubt, and one that will really get out there and, and against the competition and, and show well so that your, your customer will, will be productive and you'll be happy when you sold it to him. Let's talk a little bit about the machine itself. Uh, I'm not an engineer. I can't go into great details about uh, finite element analysis and CAD and stuff like that. I'll tell you what you can sell with, with it, though. Tremendously strong boom and dipper, probably strongest in class. We're going to give you a different choice of sticks. You're going to be able to have a short stick, a mass X front. Uh, you're going to even, we're even going to, going to offer a long reach eventually once we get this launch and get downstream. But uh, as you see, this machine is equipped with hydraulic, uh, the auxiliary pipe work, because at Con Expo, we're actually going to mount a hammer on this machine. That's why there's not an attachment on it right now. But it is set up for a hammer. Uh, you have the, the control to have merge flow or, or if you're going to do something with a, with a big grapple or something like that so you can have just hammer, hammer circuit flow or merge flow. That's the way it's set up right now. So tremendously strong. Look at this massive cylinder up here uh, that we're going to use at our, at our bucket. This machine has tremendous, tremendous breakout force, almost 55,000 foot-pounds of breakout force. You talk about a digger and a monster coming out of a hole, this machine will be it. So let's keep, keep looking here. I want to show you something special about this. You want, to, you want to talk about this when you put this machine out on a job site. What you have here is a continuous one piece, piece of steel on the top and bottom of this boom. That makes that tremendously strong. You look at some of the competition, they're going to have either a weld here or perhaps a weld here or perhaps both. But you, I'm not an engineer, but I'll tell you this, one piece of, of steel Heat treated stress re relief steel like that in one piece gives you tremendous strength. And uh, that's, a, that's a feature uh, that you don't see on, on excavators this large, but we've put it in there. This, we've, we've beefed this machine up, tremendous strength in these, in these pivot areas. You can see where these big uh, uh, bridge castings are. This machine d generates a tremendous amount of power, and that's why you need to have structural uh, members, boom and dipper, that can withstand the forces. This machine will do that. Let's take a look in here. We're going to move in here to our swing circle. A nice feature I like and what's good for customers is that we have our, our uh, grease cirques in a common sense area. We have one here, two here. So you don't have to, 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 to get out of the machine, continuously swing the, uh, the upper turret around to grease it. You can grease it right here. That greases the whole turret. Well, let's talk about the ground engaging uh, massive undercarriage of this machine. As I told you, this is a big machine. This weighs over 78,000 pounds. You have to have a very robust, strong undercarriage uh, to take care of the stresses associated with moving around job sites and the shock load that, that comes from digging. Well, guess what? We put a 40-ton class running gear under this machine, so a very strong undercarriage. And we'll take a look at some of, some of the features here we have. We have an apex design on this track roller frame. What's that mean? Well, it means it comes up to a V. That means the material can spill over, not build up here and build up eventually where it's going to damage your chain here. Because when that freezes and builds up in, in the harsh conditions, it's just like concrete. It'll rub there and wear that prema uh, chain out prematurely. We've got uh, two top rollers here. We've got two track guards on the bottom. Um, this is a very strong, purpose-built undercarriage that we build ourselves. JCB builds all our, our big, heavy-duty X-frame and our track uh, assemblies. We're using high quality Burco in our chain and, and our, our seal and lubricated pins here. So these pins and bushings are high quality Italian Burco. We're using high quality Trasmetal Italian drive motors, the finest that money can buy. What we're also doing is we're using heavy duty uh, track shoes. We thought of a lot of different things here. What we're using up here on the idler, you notice we've got, uh, we got a, a massive idler up here, but we've also got a, a, a cutout here so that you can see as the idler wears, you can keep the track tension adjusted so that you're wear, you don't wear out your track prematurely. That's a nice feature. Not everybody has that. Always point that out. You can see as it moves, as it moves backward, you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna wear out a little bit faster than you can keep your track's tension. So that's going to show the wear there. A small thing to point out, but it's, it is important, but it's, it's small, but we, small details count. 
sprocket assembly here with scallops so the material can fall out it doesn't build up it won't wear out prematurely so you couple that scallop sprocket with that heavy duty high quality trasmetal drive motor best in class let's talk about a real nice feature here that's standard on our machine optional on others but in this compartment right here we have a hose so you can refill your fuel tank say you're on a job site run low on fuel or even run out of fuel all you have are some drums fuel truck is not available guess what it's an electric fuel pump put it right down in the in your uh, container of fuel you got an electric uh, motor right here you can fill up your t your, your uh, fuel tank here remotely you don't have to worry and this is standard you're looking at the strongest X frame in class We've, we don't spare any uh, any steel we don't spare any finite uh, analysis uh, we've designed this machine to, to last you'll see a lot of people that say do never sprag don't ever don't ever run your machine around on the tracks uh, tilt it or anything this machine is built for tremendous rugged wear look at that massive turret that's a one piece turret that goes all the way down through there that's not two or three uh, pieces welded together uh, a tremendously strong turret tremendously strong X frame you see under here we've got an access panel here you can pull this out that's where you're going to drain your engine oil easily done but this is a very strong business end of this machine I'm telling you when you get down and show the customer this strength or when you stand it up and show him D plates for instance underneath that turret are standard competition is open under there we have two D plates under there that protect all the components in that turret from damage around sites sell it tremendously strong the best in the industry a real nice feature we've got the uh, remote indicator right here for your hydraulic level you don't have to climb around and get it it's right there in a very common sense area so you can tell if, if your hydraulic fluid is at the proper level what we're going to do now we're going to talk about what I think is the finest hydraulic system and engine in industry what we've got here we've got a six-cylinder turbocharged Isuzu engine one of the finest engines in the world matched to this machine 284 horsepower tier 3 compliant so that is the is the basically the heart and the muscle in this machine you match that with twin Kawasaki axial piston pumps standard in the industry you've got a tremendous start for what your system is going to do listen no hydraulic system is good unless you can protect it from cavitation and contamination so how do we do that with multiple filtration system best in the industry we'll show you we'll pull up a little closer here and we'll show you how we do it we have lots of filters in here but they all they're all necessary and they're all going to work down to one thing at the end we're going to tell you why we've got our water uh, separators right here we've got our uh, charge filter right here we've got a remote engine oil filter that means you don't have to climb around under this machine or climb down inside the hood right here is your remote oil filter for that Isuzu engine you got a servo pump right here and you've got a filter for that servo pump for your servo controls and right here you've got your uh, fuel filter for that Isuzu engine everything is right here where you can look at it test, uh, test it your test ports are here for your hydraulics but here's the key to this system right down here is our plexus bypass filtration system what this is it's a bypass filter that samples about two liters of this hydraulic oil at a time and through the shift through the course of a day it will filter that whole hydraulic tank through this plexus filter well you say well what what's what's that mean well this is a special filter that filters that oil down to one and a half microns well how fine is that well I'll tell you that's a quarter if you split that quarter into 1,000 pieces that's about one and a half microns so that means that this filter will even separate moisture out of this system and at the end of the shift that oil is cleaner than when it started out and that's the key in high pressure hydraulics keeping that oil clean that's the life of the pump to prevent that contamination so right now we've got a feature here that equates to real benefit for savings because that means you only have to change the hydraulic oil in this machine every 5,000 hours think of that every that may be that this this machine may only be out to a customer for 5,000 hours he may never have to change the hydraulic oil in this machine as long as he owns it depending on how, how many hours he puts on it a month or a year 5,000 hours on hydraulic oil 1,000 hours on filters 
Well, let's take a look at the other side of our upper works here for, uh, for what's uh, internal in, in this area. We've got your dual stage air cleaner right here. High quality. It's important to check it to make sure that that dust is out of there. Eliminate it. If you see any dust here, you want to make sure because dusted engines are, are no good. You don't want that to happen. You've got a container here for your uh, 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 windshield washer right here at, at, at ground level. Your batteries are in, this com in these compartments right here in this area. So that opens the compartment up for storage. Put a grease gun in here if you wanted it. But you can store anything in here you need. So pretty much common sense. Good stuff. How about this? A single face cooling package. You've got a swing away condenser for the Bergstrom air conditioning system so you can clean that independently. You can also clean um, your, your uh, uh, radiator and your uh, hydraulic oil cooler here. You also got a, uh, a charge uh, uh, radiator over there for, for your engine. What that does, if you clean that air and cool that air, that, that uh, that cooler over here will keep cool air going into that diesel engine. Diesel engines like cool air, they operate more efficiently that way. So what you've got is pretty much a simple system, one face rather than stacked. You can clean it out easily. It works more efficiently because you're not trying to bring air through cooler by cooler by cooler so it heats up before it, it, uh, it, it, it works. It, it's uh, what it does for the, for the uh, engine and for the uh, hydraulic system and for the uh, air conditioner. So. Once again, common sense, best in industry. Well, let's talk about the brain of this machine, if you will. That is our advanced management system, which is a computer that controls hydraulic and engine functions. Most folks have computers in their, in their uh, uh, excavators these days. It's not uncommon. JCB has a common sense, not overly sophisticated, but just sophisticated enough to give the operator what he needs to know in terms of engine and hydraulic functions. The largest cab in the industry, the most comfortable, air conditioning standard, advanced management system, ergonomically designed controls right there where you want them. You got your controls uh, sensibly placed and you also got the modes that work through the AMS. You've got a fascia panel that, have, that has the, the, uh, the, the, the switches and the little buttons over there which would be on Tim's right hand on that fascia panel right where he can get them. Those are going to be the, the switches that are going to control things like auto idle, things like boom swing priority, depending on what your application is, we'll give the priority uh, for the flow to the boom uh, out of the trench or the swing if you're doing duty cycle truck loading. Um, automatic engine shut off, cushion control, which is very important to make this machine mo uh, operate smoothly in, in tough conditions. So all those buttons are right there, right at the fingertips for the operator. I challenge you as salespeople to get up in this cab of this machine, understand what, what the, the switches do. I don't expect you to be a, a, a operator, a skilled operator, but I expect you to get up in there, understand what the controls do, be able to, to show an operator what the, in other words, what does this button mean? Know what that does, and then experienced operators will take it from there. But know enough about your machine to know the difference between brand X. So that's the competition. You've got something to sell here, boys and girls, with this. this. This is a selling feature. The benefits of this are operator comfort, productivity, equates to dollars. So what's without a doubt the best cab in the industry, take it and sell it. A real nice feature on all JS excavators is our DPC dual pattern control switch. And that allows the operator to switch between ISO and SAE control patterns. JCB has been building excavators since the 60s and we've been building the JS range since 1993. We understand how to build this excavator. We're using high quality Japanese components. We're using the first, the best quality steel we can get. We're putting more steel in our undercarriage, in our boom and dipper stick than the competition. We're building the finest cab in the world and putting it on there with, with uh, advanced management system. It all marries together to give us the finest excavator in the world. Do not be afraid to take this machine out and demonstrate it against the competition. You're going to earn business with it.